welcome back to my channel, Brave Stephen Nails. Today I have something special for you guys. Madam Glam sent to me four polishes to swatch and review for y'all. And I will quickly, first of all, if you've never ordered from Madam Glam, I mean, the padding, the, the box, in the box, I mean, this stuff, this stuff ain't going nowhere. Ain't nothing going to crack your bottles, y'all. Gorgeous, gorgeous pink foam padding. Love that. Uh, several months back, let me toss my box over here. Several months back, Madam Glam sent me um, a, a, not a swatch kit. What am I trying to say? Uh, a gel kit uh, with the little lamp, which I will uh, cover that in just a second. But I just wanted to go over the colors for y'all. And I beg your pardon, my nails are looking a hot mess right now. I had a swatch fest the other night with my Braves Diva Polish prototypes, and I just, oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. So I'm really hoping Madam Glam can uh, glam up glam up my nails. I do want to mention that Madam Glam now for this season has a Valentine's, a special Valentine's section on their website, which I will put a link to in the description box below. Go check that out. They have a ton of colors. Uh, not only Valentine colors, because I, I went through uh, their Valentine section a couple of different times. And it's not just pinks and reds. I mean, you know, if, if you guys spend any amount of time at all on social media, you know that there is a big anti-Valentine's movement. They do have darker colors in their Valentine's section. But uh, I just want to let you guys know about that section uh, very quickly. But this is one of the colors. This is called Lavender Verbena. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here while I give you guys uh, brush shots and whatnots. This is definitely lavender, but it has silver uh, shimmer, silver shimmer in it. And I'm just going to get really close here. You guys see all that really pretty silver shimmer? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now this is a shimmer formula. If you don't know anything about Madame Glam or gel polishes in general, um, each one of these polishes that I'm going to show you, their website says two to three coats to bring it fully opaque and then cure it 30 seconds in the lamp. Now the lamp that I have, the timer itself is 60 seconds. So pretty much one boom, boom, you're done. You know, one cycle, I guess is what the word I'm trying to, trying to come up with here. One cycle in the lamp. You should totally be good to go. Again, this is Lavender Verbena, and they also describe it on the website as an amethyst. I think it's, it, I mean, amethysts come in all different shades from very, very light to very, very deep. So sure, yeah, this is an amethyst. This would be a lavender amethyst, if that's even a thing. So again, gorgeous, perfect for spring. I mean, hello, Easter Mannies. Hello, hello right now. Why do I keep saying hello? Why is that like my new thing? Uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, perfect, perfect for Easter Manny's Lavender Verbena, gorgeous. Here is a glitter polish. Now, this one is called Indigo Splash. Now, in my brain, when I hear the word indigo, my brain goes towards blue, some shade of blue, typically like a, maybe like a denim, dark denim, some sort of dark blue. That's not what this is. This is actually a purple base with pink micro glitters in it. Again, totally stunning, but it does not scream indigo to me. I, I don't know, I don't know what happened there, but this is beautiful. This, definitely, definitely Valentine's Day color. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at all those little pink glitters in there. Oh, so pretty. This indigo splash, again, two to three coats to bring it fully opaque and you guys will see me swatch these and I'll put I'll put on the screen you know hey this is coat one hey this is coat two and if I need a third coat of course I would definitely do that so this is indigo splash beautiful I love that they have the little colors up here in the caps oh if I forgot to mention these are one one steps these are one step gels okay no base no top needed nothing it's all encased in here Okay, one step. I'm super, super excited about trying that because the only other gels that I have for Madam, uh, from my previous Madam Glam, 
um, kit, it came with a top coat and a base coat. So I had to do multiple coats, and that's fine if people want to do that. But if I have to swatch four polishes, man, I want to be in and out in a hurry. This one is called Hubby's Favorite. Now, this one does not have a little thing up here in the cap. I don't know if it just sort of fell out in the packing process or, or I don't know, quality control just overlooked this guy. This one's called Hubby's Favorite. This one is in the Valentine's section on Madame Glam's website, but I am obsessed with this color. It is a cream and it is a light coral or like a peachy. Oh my gosh. I just want to eat this. I want to eat it. It looks delicious. <laughs> do not, do not eat your gel polishes, y'all. Don't. But holy smokes, that color is gorgeous. And there I go singing again. Okay, that is Hubby's favorite. And actually, I'm just going to call it Tara's favorite because it's amazing. This one is called Infinity. This is also a cream formula. Again, website says two to three coats, 30 seconds in your lamp, or 60 if you're being timed by your little Madam Glam. This is a, the, the website calls it a lapis blue. I'm not gonna disagree with that. I do believe that it is. Whoops, let me turn. Oh my gosh, it's like a turquoise aqua -y. oh my gosh. And the problem with this, unfortunately, with this shade, you guys probably know if you've tried to take photographs of polish this color, or really anything this color, the camera just it doesn't read it right. So I don't know right now if this is coming ac across as more green on camera or more blue. You just, it's a crapshoot. So when I swatch these and when I take my swatch picks, I will definitely try my best to get the true representative color of this and it is called infinity again it's another cream oh I'm just obsessed with this now if you guys don't know anything about Madam Glam they are located in New York they are five free and cruelty free and as far as I'm concerned five free and I mean five free definitely that's like tops of my list um, I do not want to keep any uh, nasty toxic products on my nails for any amount of time uh, longer than necessary and as you know gel polishes are meant to last you know 10 14 maybe two weeks who knows if you're doing the the long term I personally as y'all know I change my polish multiple times a week but five free if you're going to keep your polish on for long periods of time five free is the way to go like you don't want to be having the formaldehydes and the camphors and the whole rigmarose stuck on your nails for long periods of time. So I am super, super, super excited about these. Honestly, I think these three, well, all of them really, uh, again, hubby's favorite here doesn't have a little color cap on, but I mean, these are perfect for spring, perfect for spring, going into summer. I wore coral on my toes all last summer, like literally like six months. I did not take that off. It looks amazing with the tan. So does this color. I'm getting ready to go on vacation, so I may have to pick one of these to uh, to wear. But anyway, I'm going to jump into the swatches right after I tell y'all about the lamp. If you don't have a lamp, you can run out and grab one. Madam Glam has this lamp uh, by itself. I can't think of the word that I'm trying to think of here. Um, standalone, maybe, I guess. Uh, it comes with the lamp, it comes with the adapter, and also the USB cable. <clears throat> and if you guys missed my initial review of this lamp and uh, the three-step gel kit that I got from Madam Glam, I'll put a link to that ooh, right up here in the corner. You guys can go check that out. Maybe go, I go into more details about the lamp, but this is a 9-watt lamp. But look how stinking cute it is. Look how freaking cute it is. Again, you plug it in. My um, my nail art lamp here that is that is uh, cascading its amazing lightness down upon uh, the beauteousness that is Madame Glam polishes. It has a USB port in the back of it, so that's what I will be plugging uh, my lamp into. Otherwise, you know, use your adapter, extension cord, whatever, plug in next to you. Again, it's a nine watt lamp. Hit the button, boom, it comes on. It shuts off a minute later. So there you go. But if you don't have a lamp, 
you can get one from Madame Glam or, you know, Amazon. There are various wattages and designs of lamps out there for what I will be doing. Uh, this nine watt lamp is fine for me. So, I also wanted to tell you guys a little bit uh, more background in addition to Madame Glam being located in New York. They also have this policy where, and I can't think of very many, if any, uh, companies that, nail polish companies that do this. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I know y'all will, because y'all ain't got no problems telling me when I'm wrong, honey. But the, if you don't like a color that you order from them, send it back, and they will reimburse it. And also, if you're on their website, let's say uh, you click the link down here in the description box, and it takes you to their Valentine's Day section. If you scroll to the bottom, the very bottom of the page, that's where they have their out-of-stock polishes. And I think it's typically that way on all of the Madame Glam uh pages, you know, uh, product pages, they they lump their out-of-stock products or polishes down at the bottom. And if you go down to the bottom, you know, if you get all the way to the bottom and you see one, you're like, oh my God, I have to have this polish. And then you notice, oh, it's out of stock. Email them. Email them. Say that you want that polish. When they restock it, they will hold that pot. They will take your polish and put it off to the side, child. They will put it off to the side and let you know when it's back in stock so they don't accidentally sell your favorite polish to someone else. Now, again, I think that's awesome customer service. So, right there, it's five free, cruelty free. If you don't like it, send it back. And if you're missing a color, email them, let them know, boom. As soon as it comes back, they'll ship it off to you. So, sit back, relax, enjoy the swatches. Let me know if you have any questions and I will meet you back at the very end for a quick wrap up.
Okay guys, that sort of wraps up the swatches and review of this quad from Madam Glam. Obviously, you guys saw the two most sheer out of this group were Lavender Verbena and Indigo Splash. They have sort of that jelly base with the glitters and the shimmers in it. Um, if you have, of course I did like four coats of each one of these, uh, but if you have maybe like longer nail beds or really, really, really short nails, you know, much shorter nails than I have, and I, to me, I even have really short nails, and you don't mind having that, you know, VNL or visible nail line, you can get away with two or three coats. But the beauty of gel polish is that you can build it up. So uh, pretty much what you saw me do was put one really thin coat down on my first coat, and then I, did, I sort of did thicker coats between you know two and three and four uh, I would do thicker coats but you know once you, please know please 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 know that once you cure this it's there okay so you saw me do a bunch of cleanup the issue with gel polish that I had and I don't want to say issue like it's a bad thing but the thing with gel polish for me is that once you clean up it still sort of keeps and again, this is the difference between gel polish and regular polish or, you know, I live my life in indie, in the indie polish world. But once you clean up, it still sort of keeps, it keeps moving around sort of, which on one hand is a blessing and on the other hand, it's kind of a curse. Because just when I thought that I had cleaned up every little cuticle area on the side of this nail, I stuck it in the lamp. I pulled it out and noticed that it had still sort of like run down, but this is not a knock on Madam Glam, okay, at all. This is not even a knock really on, uh, I'm not trying to read all the manufacturers of gel polishes. That's just what gel polishes do, okay? That's just what they do. The other thing that I want to mention about gels, if you guys are kind of new, and I'm pretty new too, I mean, these were the first four one-step gel polishes that I've ever even owned. Actually, my first uh, set of Madame Glams that they sent me were the first set of gel polishes that I owned when they sent me the little lamp. And again, if you missed that video, boop, up here, click that eye up in the top right corner. But the thing with, um, with gel polishes, you can't really wrap the tips as well as you can with regular polish or, you know, normal mainstream indie polish non-gel polish so it sort of um it's almost like it shrinks away from the tip of your nail and again this is not a knock on madam glam i would never knock madam glam honest to god these gel po like everyone if you're a gel polish fan and you own one steps and you know how much you love them please 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 check these out these are freaking amazing and again they're having a valentine's day uh little special section on their website but this is just me talking to my uh, my girlfriends out here on the inner Twitter webs about gel polishes this is these are the things that I've noticed they don't they don't wrap as well so you have to sort of be careful and if you have to pull the nail up to your face and sort of like tap 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 which you know you have to do sometimes I can't do every single thing on camera <laughs> A lot of stuff I have to do off camera, uh, but it's not all smoke and mirrors. But anyway, this quad right here, OMG, stunning. These one steps are phenomenal. Oh, if I forgot to mention, they're no wipe. Okay, there's no tackiness, no stick. When you saw me pull these out from under the lamp for the final time, the final time, my final coat, that's it. Like, you go. You don't have to get out your alcohol and do all the wipey wipes and wipes. It's one step, it's no wipe, they are phenomenal. And if you use, and if you happen to have a peel off base coat, a good peel off base coat, UNT, and you're not looking to obviously, you're not gonna put on a peel off base coat if you wanna wear these for a really long period of time, but like I was swatching, so I wanted to, you know, put one on, take my photos, take them off, whatever go through four different polishes in a night or two, use a peel-off base coat. That oont is unbelievable for gel swatches. I cannot recommend these enough. I, I just, I'm speechless. They're all stunning. 
Again, if you're into the sheer polishes, you won't need, you know, four coats. Oh, I'm not flipping you off, but you won't need four coats, you know, if you if you don't mind. If you who cares? You know what? Throw as many freaking coats on as you want to. They're all gorgeous. You can deepen that color. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, once again, Madam Glam, thank you guys so much. I hope I did you justice. Please, you guys, go check out the Valentine's Day section down in the description box below. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. If you stuck around this long, cookies, kudos, and trophies to y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.